This video is of a programming interface that I'm building, which I'm writing custom software for. Um, this is based off an ARM CPU that's inside of this interface that I built. So this is uh, will run off my custom software. Um, when I update it here in the f near future, you will be able to use it as a regular J2534 device. Um, I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, first, I'm going to plug this in the computer here. <clears throat> Sorry, my desk is a little messy. Um, here's a test computer I have. This is um, my test adapter. This is what this does injects cam and crank signal into the JTEC module, and then it'll fire the injectors and the coil LED here. So we go and power this up. <clears throat> you see, security is obviously not enabled on this module right now. <clears throat> All injectors are firing. If it was enabled, they'll fire up for a couple seconds and then shut down. What we're gonna do is uh, plug this in, go to my desktop, and going to open my software. <clears throat> Pull this down to where you guys can actually see it without the glare, hopefully. And okay, since it's plugged in, we're gonna get the module information. What this is gonna do is gonna pull the part number of that module. It's five six zero four four zero nine three, which you can see five six zero four four zero nine three. And we are going to enable skim on this module. So we're going to click enable. It's a pretty quick <clears throat> process. It's a very fast, you know, ARM CPU. Um, what I'm going to show you here, we're going to power this module off. Power back up. It's going to fire up for two or three seconds and down. That is skim enabled on this module. So where it doesn't see the skim, skim module on the vehicle, um, it's going to shut it down basically. So skim is now enabled on this module. Security isn't enabled on it basically. We're going to go back to this interface and we're going to click on disable skim. Come back down here, power it off, back on. And now the LEDs are going to stay flashing because now I have uh, disabled skim on this module. Just to show you that it works here, we're going to go ahead and enable it one more time. Enabled. Off. Back on. A few seconds. Back down. Now we're going to disable it. <clears throat> Off. Back on. And stays on. So this interface is, is going to be used. You can uh, program the VIN. Uh, uh, clear clear the VIN number, program VIN, uh, disable SCAM, disable LSAP, um, VATSS, pretty much any of the Chrysler JTEX, any Chrysler modules is what this is going to cover. Um, I'm going to be updating the software soon and it's going to be a lot more functions. Um, you're going to be able to pull PIN numbers off of skim, um, skim modules with it also to where you don't have to call in the dealership to get skim numbers, skim pins. So, uh, Keep watching the videos. I'll keep showing you the updates and uh, how everything's going on this. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, you can use this for tuning. You can pull flash the EEPROM file off of the module to tune it, and you can also reflash that mod that file back. That way, you don't have to pay for the expensive tuners. Um, you can use this device. It's going to be under under four hundred dollars with this software. Different software is going to be different prices. So. Just keep in touch, keep watching the videos, and I'll show you more updates. Thanks.